Hi guys, it's Simone here from Sparkly Fairy Face Painting again. I'm going to do a really quick tutorial. This is part two. We've already done part one. Um, this is very, very quick designs for things like school fates, things where you have a massive, massive line, often charities that are trying to make money and they want you to be quick. So um, in this tutorial, we're going to do six more designs. We're going to start with a sunset with palm trees in it. So I'm going to use this regular tag rainbow you can use whatever you like and I've got this sorry about my dirty old sponge round sponge here so I'm gonna go for the pink end and not worry about the red get some paint on this has been pre dipped into clean water and then I uh, squeeze the sponge in a clean towel so it's just slightly damp we'll see if it's too wet or not so there's this will be your sunset pop it down give it a swizzle it looks pretty wet, so hopefully it won't be too wet. Spray some glitter onto that. Then taking a small round brush. This is a number three. Uh, I don't know what brand this would be. I'll try to think of it. Then just using your black, we're going to put in two palm trees, two bits of an island, and some birds so palm trees just a press drag it down and then put your palm fronds sometimes because of the glitter it can be a bit not enough paint on there so you can re-dip so just do your little palm fronds like this there's one palm tree Second palm tree over here, usually a bit smaller. Same thing, put in your leaves. And then loading up our brush with more black. You can just pop in your islands. Now this design I've poached from um, Jazzy Art Entertainment I worked with on the weekend and this was one of her designs that I had to copy working for her and I just think it's a really great design so thanks Jazzy I hope you don't mind I'm using this I have done designs like this myself in the past but anywho so and here are just a couple of little birds a nice fine brush is good for that that's it there you have a little sunset with some palm trees Okay, so we're going to move on to my next one that I loved on the weekend. I just had to make up something very quick uh, for these really quick designs. So off the top of my head, I used the magenta out of this. This looks like global. I think it's called provenance or something. So as long as you've got any sort of nice pink, we're going to do a flamingo. So starting with a bit of an oval for the head. And then a bit of an S shape going down. Whatever this shape is for a body. Get a bit of more paint on your brush. And then this move that you'll see a lot is the press and flick down. Press and flick down. Press and flick down. So that's the tail. We'll do a nice long leg and some toes. Another long leg but have it coming up. And have some toes. Now it doesn't look like much now, but once you put on a few little highlights and details and the beak, it looks really cute. So we're practically halfway there at least. Get another thin round brush. Put the beak. Put just some nice highlights very quickly if you can. I put the wing in with white highlights. And usually hmm, get a bit more white on my paintbrush. A few little stripes down the legs is sort of cute. Highlights on the toes. You can see it's coming together already. And then in with our black fine liner, which is, as I've said many times, it's the Roy Mac. And this one's a number two. So I usually, you could just not worry about outlining the beak, but you can do a black outline underneath and a little half one. And then if you're really busy, you don't have to worry about outlining the rest either, but I will. So 
we'll do a little eye closed with eyelashes because that's sort of super cute and then outlining but as I said at this point you could have left it not outlined as long as you've got that cute little eye in and then we'll add that for the wing don't need to outline the entire thing just one side usually is enough for the legs and the feathers there we have a really super cute flamingo all the kids that got the flamingo on the weekend just loved it now we're going to get back to another couple or another one that's in a circle so this is going to be our bat symbol batman symbol so i've dipped my sponge I've squeezed it out in a clean towel. I'm sorry, this is so gross. It's a tiger, it's really worn out. I'm gonna use the yellow and the orange. If it's not wet enough, use your sprayer. Sorry, try not to spray my leg. And you can spray on your sponge as well. Only ever dip your sponge into fresh water and squeeze it in a fresh towel. If you don't have that, use your water sprayer. It just can take a lot longer with the water sprayer is all. Okay, so I've got my orange and yellow give that a little twist so it blends you can add a bit of gold sparkle it doesn't have to be as much as all that if you don't want and then using one of your smaller round brushes it doesn't have to be your smallest but I'll use my smallest for now so Batman start in the middle do a bit of a flick up on either side Oops, the glitter's making it a bit difficult. So you get a bit of a V, and if you can get nice pointy ears, that's good. And then down to give him his pointy body, and then I go out. I do this circle, like half circle-y thing, and then come back and make this sort of a shape. So again, you'll be thinking, what is this? But when it's finished, it all comes together. So same over here. You can do this bit first if you want. Come back in. I did put a bit too much glitter on there, makes it a bit difficult. And then you can put a couple of points up and down to make him look a bit more Batman-y. And essentially that's your Batman symbol. Again, if you want to, as always, what will make it look a little bit better if you have time, if you've got a big long line, you won't have time for this, but if you do, you can just add a bit of a highlight here and there and a starburst as well. And even though it's just a tiny bit of nothing that you've added, it just makes it look that much better. So there's Batman. So while we're on the superheroes, we'll go straight into Spider-Man. So if you don't, Spider-Man can actually be quick and easy to do, but it's not fair to offer little cheek designs to everybody and then do a full face Batman on someone. So our small face Batman is actually pretty annoying to do, but here we go. So just press down to get your slanting white eyes. I really recommend having brushes that are dedicated to white and brushes that are dedicated to red and black because you don't want your white turning pink and you don't want your white turning grey etc etc so there's your white eyes and then just do just your face shape around painting on a bit of an angle so hopefully I don't make this too weird so you can see I'm just making that bit of an oval egg shape around And you might notice that I leave a little bit of a gap when I'm going around the eyes, or I try to, otherwise you might end up with pink and you don't want pink eyes. That would be weird. All right, and then you can do your outlines in red anyway. You can add a splash of gold glitter on that if you like. I'm not going to right now because I just want to make this quick and easy, but a little bit of gold can work. All right, so we're gonna do our eyes 
bit of an outline there. We'll put in our web. So just from the outside, it's the press and flick in so that you get a nice thin taper as it comes in. Don't worry about it having to meet. Not everything has to meet. Your eye will actually fill that in for you and it looks better to have nice, neat, thin, delicate lines for a web than it does to have big, chunky ones that meet in a big, fat, heavy thing in the middle. So then put in your little scoops, your scallopy edges. Make sure they have a little bit of a curve going onto them. And as always, if you can, add a little bit of a highlight or a little bit of a starburst just to make it look just that little bit better. Always helps, especially anything that's supposed to have superpowers. You can do it at the top and the bottom if you want to. If you really want to and you've got time, you can add a little bit of a highlight, just a tiny touch to each bit of the web and that makes it look heaps better as well. So there's Spider-Man. What else do we have? Unicorn, very important. Nearly every girl will ask for a unicorn and some boys. So I'm using the small filbert. This is also the brush I prefer for my doing lips and lipstick. Um, you can use a round brush. You could use a brush like that as well. All right, where am I gonna go? Mm, okay, over here. So, again, it's a bit of a light bulb shape. Just imagine light bulb on its side. Then you've got two ears. Make them a little bit longer than you think because you're gonna put hair over the top. And then using the same brush, you can put your horn. Just make sure that your horn comes to a point. It's triangular, wider at the bottom, thin and pointy at the top. Uh, horns that go straight up and are rounded at the end look like things that we don't want to paint on children's faces. I'll let your imagination run wild with that. <laughs> Especially if you paint them in pink or purple, they look particularly bad. So, now this is a flat square brush and I've just used this end of you can use anything. You can use a one stroke like that, whatever. I'm just using the pink and purple. Keeping the highlight to the outside. And you just do a wiggle, 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 wiggle and around. I like to put a little bit of glitter. Try not to go too heavy, otherwise it's hard for your detailing. And probably shouldn't do this on a quick job, but I'll just do it for this video. Oh no, I won't. I'll keep it to the quick one. Alright, this is a super quick one for the fates. We'll do a closed eye. I'll do another video another time with the open eye. The open eye is really cute with colour in it, but we'll do closed eye. So I always start with going the unicorn horn first, put it at the tip, come down in a little curve around, then come back the other side. That's your horn. It goes from a point and it goes from thin down to the thick. Then you don't have to outline your hair if you're running short on time. You can leave it as is. I'm just doing it today. Ears, one ear will be turned away. One will be looking inwards, so that one can have the detail on the inside of the ear. We'll just do a wiggle, 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 and a swirl, curl at the end. Outlining, trying to keep it nice and light. A nice closed eye with some eyelashes is really cute. A little nostril and a smile. There's your super cute unicorn. If you have time, you can add a sparkle at the top of the unicorn horn and you can also add a rainbow coming in as well if you've got time but again you don't want it to look like other kids are getting preferential treatment 
with having more on their face. I'll put, I'm gonna put the rainbow in because I just love it. Usually we'll put the rainbow in at parties, maybe not so much. So there you go, so quick and easy, little rainbow above your unicorn that can come down the side of the face or the arm. Okay, last one's gonna be a turtle and then we are done. If I can find a round. All right, here we go. We've dipped into clean water, pressed it out with a clean towel. So I'm gonna use this one again global don't know what it's called but it's one of my favorites backwards and forwards get lots of paint on there you can see it's not on there properly just put it back in and go again hopefully it's damp enough all right so we're going to press it down give it a real good swizzle around so it blends nicely i do like a bit of glitter on everything that's why my business name is sparkly fairy face painting because i love sparkles then I'll usually use a green, more often than not a dark green. You can use a light green if you want to. And at the top here, we're gonna put on a head. Then we're gonna put on his little fins. He's swimming around the ocean. Should be able to do those in one little smooth like that, not going backwards and forwards. Try to avoid going backwards and forwards on things. It's just a waste of time. So there's the bulk of your turtle done straight up. Always looks better with a little bit of a highlight. If you can, if you don't have time, abandon your highlights. So we're going to go highlight, 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 highlight. One there, one there. It should be that quick and easy. If you're taking longer than that to add highlights, you're doing it wrong just practice 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 they'll become second nature okay so then we're going to put on two little eyes now if you're in a hurry you can just leave it at that that can be it but if you want to you can do an outline you don't have to though and we'll just do the outline on the inside i usually outline both sides of the towel though just the inside of the fins because that's where the shadow would be and then if you want to you can add a little bit of shell detail to his back if you're running low on time just don't worry about it I'm not entirely convinced that it looks any better to be honest but that's that now that is a very quick easy turtle if you have time if you want to what you can do is add some splashes of water. I'm going to do this just in this end of this magnolia, I think it's called. Yeah, I use magnolia a lot. Filbert, just flick, flick, flick. Oh, they're terrible splashes. Anyway, you can see, oh, really mm -hmm. bad splashes. Anyway, you can see what we're getting at there. Some splashes, some glitter. All right, I think that's it. Some very quick and easy little things that you can do at school fates. I'm hoping this helps and I hope it's going to be up the right way and you're not viewing it upside down. Bye!